Hey, Dr. George Landis, Board Certified Plastic Surgeon. Here's some things you should know about breast implant and capsular contracture. First of all, what is capsular contracture? Well, the formation of a capsule of scar tissue around any kind of implant, this includes hip joints and heart valves, as a normal part of the healing process. The body automatically reacts to any foreign thing it detects and tries to isolate it, creating a barrier of scar tissue around it. Now, in the case of breast implants, this is usually a good thing. The capsule helps to keep the breast implants in place, keeping it from moving where you don't want it. In some patients, however, this capsule of scar tissue becomes unusually hard and starts to contract around the implant. And this can lead to visual distortions and, in extreme cases, pain in the breasts. Now, research shows that about one in six breast augmentation patients experience some degree of capsular contracture, though not all cases present with obvious symptoms. The severity of capsular contracture is rated with a grading system. Grade one, your capsule is undetectable. There's not a shape change and you can't feel it. Grade two has only minor cosmetic problems. The breasts usually appear normal, but feel a little too firm. Now grade three, the breasts will be firm to the touch and appear abnormal. They will be too overly round, hard looking, and even the nipples can distort. And if you have these problems and they're painful, then your contracture is the worst, grade four. Now generally, capsular contracture occurs during the healing process. About three out of four happen within two years but they can sometimes develop many years later after breast augmentation surgery. And when this happens, you need to be checked out for implant rupture with an imaging study, like an MRI. Now, what causes capsular contracture? Short answer, we don't know. And we don't even know ahead of time what factors may put you at higher risk, except in the case of radiation therapy for breast cancer. We know that can cause the most severe scarring. Now, the most popular theory is that low levels of bacteria get around the implant at the time of surgery, and these are responsible for the development of this capsule. And this happens despite the advanced sterilization routines used in all surgeries today. It's important to know that capsular contracture is not really dangerous to your health, as far as we know. And because capsular contracture is highly treatable, you shouldn't let a fear of developing this condition hold you back from getting implant surgery. Now, as I mentioned, if you think you are developing a scar capsule around your implant, you should be checked out by a plastic surgeon. Now, there are no non-surgical treatments of breast implant capsule contracture. All of them involve surgery. What we can do surgically is internally by the implant, make small little cuts that release the capsule and soften up and normalize the shape. And in some cases, we do remove most or all of the capsule. Well, I hope this is helpful. Be well, be healthy.